right now. The USS Kidd is scouring parts of the Andaman Sea for any trace of the missing plane. So joining me now on the phone, Commander TJ Zier, the executive officer on board the USS Kidd. Commander Zier, tell us about today's search. Hey, first, thanks for having us on, Don. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity to talk about what we're doing up here. Uh, we are supporting the Malaysian government who's running the overall search plan uh, and operation. They give us areas to go search, and we, we, we do so. Right now we're in the Adamant Sea heading north uh, near the Nicobar Islands, almost on the edge of the Indian Ocean, um, based on an area that the Malaysian government has asked us to go take a look at. Uh, and we're taking a look for any debris in the water. Uh, we've stood up extra, extra people uh, standing watch to take a look out with binoculars and cameras. We also are leveraging the advantage of our embarked helicopters on board, which allow us to go check uh, a lot more space and a lot, uh, a lot less time. Uh, than just with ships. So we're combining that effort to take a close look at what we can find. So far, nothing that leads us toward uh, the, something related to the, the, the missing airliner. Uh, these waters are highly congested with fishing and commercial vessels. So we find a lot of material in the water, whether it's fishing buoys or, or other trash uh, or, or debris, but nothing that would lead us to believe it was associated with the missing airliner. I'm glad you mentioned that because many uh, may have may feel that these waters are just open water and, and it's not very congested. But you said this is a very congested area. Had an airplane gone down, someone would have seen something in the particular area where you're searching. Well, I, I can't say that for certain. What I can tell you is that when we started our search uh, on 8 March uh, in the Gulf of Thailand, that area body of water is definitely highly congested with fishermen and and commercial ships, and we searched all through there with, uh, with vessels of, of several other navies. Uh, we searched that area intently because at that time I think that was the highest priority or highest probability in the, in the Malaysian government's uh, assessment. We then, after a couple of days there, shifted to the west uh, of the Strait of Malacca. That Strait of Malacca there, going by Singapore, is uh, the busiest waterway in the world. Uh, and so going in the Adamant Sea, where the merchant traffic goes in and out to get to the Middle East and back to, to Asia, that traffic lane is very highly congested. When you get 50, 60, 75 miles off that main thoroughfare, though, in the upper part of the Adamant Sea, you can find pockets where the congestion is a lot lower. There are fewer uh, merchant ships, but there are fishermen distributed throughout. So not inconceivable, but, uh, but certainly in the, in the lower density areas uh, by commercial shipping, you would expect a higher probability of somebody missing something.